Good afternoon, everybody. This session, afternoon session, is dedicated to all English lovers. Well, you can ask, uh, what are we going to do this, this afternoon? Well, I, I'm going to talk about in the passives of imperatives, language for all language lovers. Yeah, well, generally what happens and when we are conversing, when we are talking in English or when we are discussing any matter, we sometimes make, you know, orders, sometimes request, sometimes instruction, sometimes prohibition. So this request, advice, prohibition, order, instruction, these are the, I mean, way of giving certain, I mean, information in certain order. So, so in case of passing an order, how will uh, we, we express our language in passive form? So let us take order and command. Open the door. Let the door be open. Let plus object plus B plus VT. That is the general formula for passive form of the, uh, I mean, imperatives order, command. March forward. Let the soldiers be commanded to march forward. Shut the door. Let the door be shut. Uh, help the needy. Let the needy be helped. So, in case of order and command, we are going to use let plus object plus b plus v3. Now come to advice. In case of advice, we, we can use should object plus should plus b plus v3. Like help the poor. The poor should be helped. Help the children. The children should be helped. Respect your elders. Your elders should be respected. So object plus should plus b plus v3. That is the formula for, I mean, passive, when you are expressing imperatives and the request. Yeah, in request, object plus C plus B plus V3. Now come to advice. Work hard. You are advised to work hard. So it will be used U plus uh, advice V3 plus 2 plus whatever action you are going to give. Like... Pay attention to study. You are advised to pay attention to studies. Uh, help the poor. You are advised to help the poor. Uh, always follow the elders. You are advised to follow the orders always. Now come to the instruction. No, yeah. Mm. Summon the orders to the culprit. Yeah, you are instructed to summon the order to the culprit. Now the question arises. Let plus object plus B plus V3. Why such kind of conversation is expected in day-to-day -day conversation? And what is the importance of such? See, generally what happens that when you are conversing, sometimes the question comes that you are giving advice to your uh, a co, I mean, speaker. You are asking him, oh, uh, help them, please. So let them be helped, please. Yeah, like that. Let them be allowed to come. The, you see, the children are standing on the gate and your friend is asking, can we allow them? Can we allow them to come inside? Then you can say, if you are giving them the permission, let the children be come inside or be allowed to come inside. Let them be seated. Let them be, I mean, uh, understood. Let them be instructed to uh, follow the rule. Let them be asked to come in time. Let them be reminded to be punctual. So such kind of sentences generally are used by every speaker in day-to-day -day life. Now there are certain sentences where a very, I mean, assumed or generalized statement is given. Like we said that people in India believe in religions. So how to, I mean, express this in passive in a beautiful manner. Yeah. Yes. Religions are believed in by Indians or we can say that people people are meant to believe in India in different religions or we can say that it is believed that people of different faiths live in India. So such kind of sentences beautify the statement like we worship Ganga in India. Ganga is worshipped in India. We 
we expect everybody to do his duty. Everybody is expected to do his duty. Uh, we expect every Indian citizen to defend his nation. Every Indian citizen is expected to defend his nation. Like that. This beautifies the expression. Therefore, in order to beautify the expression, sometimes we have to use passive form. It is in generalized form also that it is expected that all Indians should be very, very honest and hardworking. It is expected from all of us to come to time or come on time. It is expected from all the children to obey the orders of the principal and teachers. It is expected from everyone to defend his nation. It is expected from every citizen to be alert at the time of war. It is expected from every Indian to maintain the solidarity and integrity. So such expressions are always very beautiful. Therefore, in imperative sentences, we will use let plus object plus B plus B3. Let the door be opened, let the door be closed, let the poor be helped. Or where request please laga dena. Say help the poor, please. Let the poor be helped, please. Or you are requested to help the poor, please. Both are correct. You are requested. Yes, do not move. Instruction. Do not move in the sun. You are forbidden not to. Uh, you are forbidden to move in the sun. Forbidden is itself negative. It means not. Nahi lagta hai. Sit. Uh, sit in the open area. You are asked to sit in the open area. Open your book on page number uh, ninety-nine. You are instructed to open your book on page ninety-nine, or let the book on page ninety-nine be opened. Uh, you all are uh, requested to sit in quietness. You, uh, every one of us is requested to sit in quietness. Or it is expected from all of us to be quiet while sitting here. Let um, allow everybody to come.